This video will teach you how to generate the head adaptive ROM. For many Seagate F3 hard drives, when users need to swap the heads, users may meet such kind of cases even after you have found the door heads and swap the heads. The heads may still have clinking noises or other kind of read problem. So this is usually caused by the head adaptive parameters on matching. So to match the adaptives, users need to generate the adaptive ROM. So after users find one dollar hard drive, it's necessary for users to back up the dollar drive ROM and put it and save it somewhere like this one. This is the pension ROM, this dollar ROM. We can back up the dollar hard drive ROM and also back up the pension ROM because to back up the ROM, it's very easy. It's just required the PCB is good, then users can back up the ROM. So after users back up the dollar ROM and pension ROM, and then users can generate the head adaptive ROM. So users can write this head adaptive ROM to the pension drive and then swap the heads. So at this time, this increases the success rate of the Seagate F3 head swap. Now, from this video, we will teach you how to generate the head adaptive ROM by this dollar hard drive ROM and the pension hard drive ROM. Okay, now let's enter the DFL Seagate firmware repair tool. Now this is Seagate from Repair Program. Simply click to start on it, power on the hard drive, and wait until the drive gets ready. At this time, we can enable the COM port, and we will see if the drive can come to F3T prompt. Okay, now let's enter the program, Seagate F3. Open the details. Click OK to enter the main from repair interface. Now we have come inside. Here we can find ROM and the third menu is called adaptive ROM. Actually, this is a head adaptive ROM. So we just need to transfer the head adaptive parameters to the original ROM. We simply click on this menu and then we select the pension ROM. Okay, the pension ROM, we select this one, pension ROM. Now, dollar drive ROM, we select the dollar drive ROM. Adaptive ROM, we name it different, we rename this one as ROM, Adaptive, or any other name which is either for you to remember and make it different from the dollar ROM and pension ROM and then that is okay. Now you save this ROM. Now we have set the parts of the pension ROM, dollar ROM, and as Adaptive ROM. Now we click OK. So Operation success. So the ROM, the adaptive ROM has been generated successfully. Now we go to the folder. We have selected to store the adaptive ROM. So here we can find three ROMs now. This one is the generated adaptive ROM. We can find it's the same size. 512 KB. The pension ROM, the same size too. Dollar ROM, the same size. So what the program has done is that to transfer the 
adaptive, the head adaptive parameters from the dorm room to the pension room. And then this is the new adaptive room. So all users need to do is to write this room to the pension drive and then swap the heads. So this will increase the success rate for the Seagate new F3 hard drives. So this is especially very important. After users failed by direct head swap. So thank you for watching this video.